I always take my tracks that I'm producing, which I'm doing from my bedroom, just like most of you out there, to a real studio to mix. And you probably think, well, I can't afford to do that. You know, at first I thought that myself, but then I, once I actually looked into it, if you find the right engineer and, um, you know, they don't charge too much. Most studios that I know, even in L.A., um, they charge, you know, $50 an hour to mix at their studio or to have them mix something. So if you can, you know, muster up just about $100 for two hours of studio time, you can um, definitely take your mixes to the next level. And um, I'll explain in a little bit how you can um, actually do that. Um, now, if you do want to take your uh, mixes to, you know, a real pro level, you need to get them mastered. I always master everything I do. And I know for a lot of you guys out there, it's like a lot of money to be forking over, you know, for your song. But if you really care about your music and you believe that it, um, you know, <clears throat> will do well on, on online or, you know, however you want to sell it, or even if not, you just think people will really like it and you want to get your point across, I always recommend getting it mastered. And, um, you know, usually good spots are about from uh, $100 to $125 a master. Um, I personally would recommend, uh, like to recommend Sound Ops. They're in Wyoming. They charge $125 a master. Um depending on, you know, what kind of, you know, mix you got going on. They do spend a great amount of time actually on your on your mix uh, or on your master to make sure that it sounds good in different rooms, different, uh, you know, car stereos, stuff like that, just to make sure that they're giving you the best master as possible. And actually this track that you're hearing now is actually mastered at their studio. So there's a little bit of proof and you're hearing it literally from the home studio mix to the final mix and then to the master. That's what this is, home studio studio at pro studio and then um, final master at sound ops okay so moving on to the final mix here is my home studio mix from here to here and what I actually do is I print each and every one of these down just like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial I print it down to stems so it so basically what that means is everything that is in here is on one track same thing with here and here and I even think I sum these down and just to show you what I'm talking about what it should look like this is what I took to the studio this is everything from the Skrillex vocals bass and guitar the percussion that we went over the main growl the lead the kick the effects I called it little or I called it uh, dub bits in here I called it dub chops in the actual session don't know why I changed it maybe I thought it'd make it more clear this is the ARP lead and bass, and sometimes you do want to separate them if you feel that you know your mixing engineer would be able to do it better than you can, and um, you know maybe give him the flexibility that he needs to be able to level these a little bit better for you if you need to. I actually did it in this case because I know that we wanted to process the bass, but we didn't want to process the you know the the highs and the mids. So if you just print them down. You bring in a file with your engineer. I personally, um, I sit with a guy, his name is Spencer Hode, really good friend of mine, and we go in and we're using his room and he's sitting there. He's actually a professional mixing engineer, so his ears are actually treated, and, or not treated, but tuned to his room and how to you know, professionally mix a song. So you, we'll see the difference here from my mix at home and then you know, together mine and his mix in the actual studio. So, but if you'd like to, you know, contact Spencer, you know, I definitely, um, you know, recommend it. I'll leave his uh, website link information. You can email him or something. Um, if you're in the L.A. area or North Hollywood, um, that'll, you know, help him. He's a good friend of mine, so I want to help him out um, and, you know, mention him in this tutorial. But so, anyways, let's check out the uh, let's check out the studio mix again, and we'll just start it from the from the beginning, and then I'm going to kind of cruise through it, and then we're going to hit the the final studio mix. So this is the at home studio mix. Now greetings to the world. Vice to the one big gang still alongside Skrillex. Stand for now. Turn up the bass and make them all out fun How we a blaze the fire, make it fun Then we go shut the place, turn up the bass and make some fun Why? And we will end your week just like a sun Then we go shut the place, turn up the bass Let's go. 
please turn up the <laughs> So you get the idea. Now let's hear what the actual mix from actual studio sounded like. Now greetings to the world. Vice for the one big gang still alongside Skrillex. Stand for no. Turn up the bass and make them all out fun How we a blaze the fire, make it burn them We must up the bass, turn up the bass and make some fun Why run? And we will end your week just like a Sunday Up the place, turn up the Okay, so a few things you might notice is it's a little bit more quieter, okay? And if you notice when we were doing the other one, it was clipping a little bit and to make these small adjustments to make sure that the different tracks are leveled correctly you have to bring it down in volume to be able to give yourself some headroom that's very important um, but overall this is a much tighter mix so it, it really sounds as one I know it's quiet but this mix right here is a little bit more tight and then um, when we bring it over to the master you'll see that it really will jump up in sound um, but if you notice that I was circling right around this area here, I was doing that to just kind of remind you to listen for the low end drop out right here. And you can kind of see it. Let it drop out so that that first hit is much more impactful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of just cruise through. Well, first let's actually listen to the master now. Let's hear what the master sounds like. Greetings to the world, vice for the one big gang still alongside Skrillex, them for no, oh 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 we, must up the place, turn up the place and make them all out fun, how we a blaze the fire, make it burn them, Up the place, turn up the So as you can tell this is much louder than this one, or excuse me, this is much louder. The master is much louder than the home s or the um, studio mix or the home studio mix. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it just about, I'm going to start from the drop. I'm going to start with my mix, and then I'm going to go into the studio mix with Spencer Hode, and then I'm going to go to the sound ops mastering final master for the song, and we're going to see the differences.
So hopefully you get the idea of what I'm going for. And, um, you know, I just wanted to show you that you can, you know, take your home studio production um, to a professional level. I personally think that this definitely sounds pretty professional and, um, you know, it sounds great on all speakers. So get your stuff mixed. I know that a lot of you guys are like, oh, I can do it from home. But as you can tell, you know, with the right adjustments and the right mix, the final master will come out really well. So anyways, um, and another thing, too, is if for some reason you don't really have the budget to be able to go to a studio to actually get the mix done, but you might to be able to get the master, this right here, this mix would definitely be totally fine to go get mastered. There might be a few small things, small issues, most stuff most people won't be able to recognize, um, but it's definitely ready for master. I just know that I want everything to be as, you know, perfect and have as much control over the track as possible. So I always like to go and do it in a treated room since my bedroom is not treated and I do a lot of my production in headphones. So anyways, those are a few tips for you. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you did like this video, if you could uh, like my YouTube page and, you know, if you can go check out my SoundCloud. You can download all my songs for free. Except for this one, I, I'm not going to release this one until the contest is over. And um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed and um, stay tuned for more tutorial videos. I should be releasing um, releasing them monthly. Thank you. Turn up the...